Hello everyone and welcome back to Celestial Legacy. Um, so off screen I did a lot of grinding in the Colosseum, and I got the three um, items that you can only have one of. So let's go through them real quick. Uh, the first one is... I th I'm gonna assume they're near the bottom. I actually did get some use out of one of them. Um, this one. Uh, that's the general skill X Magic. Okay, let me show off what that is because it's... It's pretty ridiculous. Um, hold on. Toggle dual cast on and off. Instant action. While dual casting, a magic spell is cast twice in a row. Okay. It's all fun and games until the magic, until the black mage learns dual cast. That's one of my like cardinal rules for RPGs like this. Because <laughs> this is when the... Um, Oh my goodness, I, I need to like start focusing way more on getting Malice a lot more MP if I'm going to do that, because I have Overdrive, which increases his MP cost, and then he's going to be expected to cast that thing twice in a row. I sort of wonder if there's like an armor or a shield that'll give him like magic regen or something, or he's in the middle row, right? Yeah, he is. That's probably the closest we have to something like that right now. Um, as for the other, the other items, we got like a mace... I think. Mace of Zeus. It teaches Flare. Um, I didn't test this, but I'm assuming it does the same thing it does in Final Fantasy, where it's just like a really powerful non-elemental move. I'm kind of surprised the stats aren't that great on it, but... Oh wait, no, it's a one-handed weapon, so maybe that is pretty good. You know, I'll put it on. Why not? And as for the shield... Eh, yeah, why not? Um... And then the final thing we got is something that, honestly, I'm not really impressed by. Um... A medical degree? I kind of guessed what this did off screen, I was right. It doubles the potency of items, so it just raises your pharmacology, which isn't too special. I Honestly, items like that, that feels like it should be like the gimmick of a character as opposed to something you grind for like an hour to get in the Colosseum. Um, I got more money off screen because of course I freaking did. Uh, <laughs> I restocked on my items, um, and honestly... Oh my god, like, I gotta say, I love how the Colosseum is handled in this game. Like, it might be one of my new favorites, honestly. <laughs> it's, like, it's expansive, but it doesn't feel like you have to spend hours in it to, uh, to, like, get what you want, which I respect quite a bit. Um, anyway, for this episode, I once again want to start going around and, uh, looking for, like, extra stuff, if that makes sense. Um... Apparently, all the things I want from Symphysis you can't get from the Colosseum, so I'll have to look elsewhere to get them. And the first place I want to look are actually these towers. And we've encountered these a few times, and essentially they all have, like, recolors of this slime enemy. And I want to see if I can beat these things now. I think there's, like, one for every element, too. I kind of forgot how many there were, though. Umbra Slime. Wait, this is the thing we fought in the Colosseum. Oh my goodness, so I can probably do these right now. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, I meant to steal from you. Yeah, if all you're gonna do is gravity spells and instant death, that is that doesn't even, like, instantly kill or hurt one character. <laughs> or it doesn't uh, hit everyone. Heck, let's do it. X magic. Also, pay attention to, like... If you paid attention real quick, you might have noticed that, like, the ATB bar went up a little bit when I used that spell. I wonder if that can be exploited in some kind of way. I kind of hope not. Oh my god, do we even have enough MP to do that? We don't have enough MP to dual cast Flare! Okay, never mind, I guess. Maybe I should try a different sp or try a different uh, strategy with him. It'll still do a lot of damage, though. Oh my god, we cannot cast this twice. It's so powerful. Okay, when I unlock his super move, I'm just gonna pump all TP I get for him into, like, MP. That's pretty powerful, though. So let's use this. To be honest, this might be the party I use for the rest of the game. Like, I wish I could take Garrett out, but other than him, like, I really like the balance of this party. Doesn't have anything, okay. 
Like it's got a little bit of everything. It's got healing. It's got it's got like super powerful um like single uh, single hitting magic spells. It's got elemental stuff. It's got like an all out attacker. Like Genji uh, Genji glove um Genji glove uh Keiji is a lot of fun. What should I do on you? I think I'll just use deep wound. What the heck? Oh, there's a big truck outside. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I can't use it twice in a row. That's really funny. How much does this restore again? Ah, it's not worth it. Yeah, if these fights are all around this difficulty, there's no doubt I can do these now, so I think I might go ahead and, like, do a bunch of these. No one really needs healing at the current moment. I want to see if I can Libra you. You count as a boss, so probably not, but... No, okay. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen him do that much damage. Well, now I can do this again. Put status ailments on you. No. Oh, I forgot you counter physical attacks with that. I'm gonna put you in the middle row just so you can get some like MP restoration. Do that just in case you need to do a group heal. I forgot where I can buy high ethers, but I might need to restock at one point. Slimes can do this. Second, I, <laughs> I, I, I kind of, I. Oh my goodness, he didn't do that uh, when I fought him in the Colosseum. Hmm. Oh, what now? Wait a second. I thought of a strategy. 
Where's that thing that makes me immune to, to shadow damage? I only have one of them. Let's give it to our healer. I feel like you do enough healing that that's not really necessary. And honestly, I don't really use double cast in this skill just simply because he doesn't have enough MP. So what else can I give you? Maybe Prism Ring? Nothing else really increases his strength. I feel like I could give you something better too. Auto reflect might be nice. Yo, how about this? Okay, let's try that. Let's see if I can do a little better at this now. I feel like I'm at the point in the game at which I should be able to do these. Hmm, maybe the problem is my party, too. I can't get rid of Garrett, unfortunately, but I feel like some other characters might be um, super, uh, super useful to have in. Like, you know, would, would Malice... Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Hold on. I'm gonna take Malice out for Barth. Celestial Legacy. Okay. The reason why is because Malice, as much as I love him, like, uh... His magic attacks aren't really that useful in a fight like this. Maybe having Barth in who can just do straight up just more damage, like more DPS, would be better. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. These are longer fights too, so Ray might be useful, but no, 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 let's go with Barf. I gotta give someone else to lend the lens of truth too, just in case. Okay, um... Chicago, I still can't believe that's the name of an item. <laughs> I looked that up and I think I got like a movie. It's been like a day since I did it though. So Chicago exists somewhere in this game's universe. Okay, good to know. Wow, his attack is already higher. That'll make him resist shadow, which is good. Yeah, let's just raise his attack even more. Formation, he's already in the front. Yeah, I can't remove him, unfortunately. Alright. I'll just, like, abuse his fast speed to make him, like, an item user if I have to. Dude, I don't want to deal with this right now. Okay, let's try this again. This might be the party I use for all of these, unless I can really exploit, like, elemental weaknesses somehow. Yeah, for the dark one, though, it might be better just to use, like, flat-out normal damage. Okay, good. You still have enough for Deep Wound. Yeah. 
You know what? Yeah. Let's use this. Okay, now I had you learn a lot of skills off screen. What do you have now? That could be good. Um. Yo, that could be kind of broken. Um. Let's just use Rally for now. Oh, that doesn't raise his attack by much. Then, like, if he uses, um... Oh my goodness, two critical hits in a row. That and if he uses that, um, that, like, instant kill move, it's not really... It's gonna, like, completely ruin the strategy. Yeah, I'm just gonna have you guard. Okay, so far, so good. Oh my lord, doing 2,000 damage per hit. I wish I could do a level 2 amount of magic on all characters, but no. Okay, that, that worked. That worked. I wanted to get everyone up to full there. <sighs> God dang, that's, that's powerful. Nice. That's gonna make him immune to the super. Uh, that's gonna make her immune to the super move too. Okay, now what? Maybe Shelja. Oh wait, no, I already have that on everyone. That's with the ah waste of magic. Um, keep guarding. Just in case he does a super move, I have someone who will probably stay alive through it. That's mainly my goal right now. She can do this. We're playing this more defensively than we did last time. Barf is fast too, so that also helps. Hmm, that does around 6,000 damage. So does the, um, the like super move that I've been using with him anytime we do have a single target enemy. You know, for, for like the longest time, I've been wondering like which of those is actually better. I feel like objectively saving him up to use the, the 75 energy move as opposed to the 2 party TP move is better. Like in terms of just like raw damage and like damage per resources, but I don't know, if I had the option I might as well go for it because it's just extra damage at the end of the day. Keep guarding. I think we've established now that he does not counter. I just got very unlucky there. No, that does around 9,000 damage, so it does do more. Huh. Is there an energy mode that gives you t uh, energy when you're guarding? Oh no. Um, Garrett's turn is coming up. I'll revive her during his turn. Oh! Garrett should go first. He's just that much faster. Okay. Um, 
Phoenix down on you. Keep attacking? No, no. Play it safe, High Potion. That's what I was worried about. Although she is immune to, um... That's still gonna, like, kill everyone, though. Ooh. Can he kill me? I just thought of this. Like... She doesn't have a move that restores everyone's health, or that, um, that revives everyone. I don't want to use a Mega Phoenix on a side boss like this, even if it is obviously a super boss. Well, you know, like a tier 1 super boss. It doesn't seem like... Oh, I should have revived Garrett. Oh, wow. Why is he going so much? Do I have an elixir? I only have two of them. I don't want to save them to, like, endgame, but... Yeah, I'm gonna use one. I, this is a rare instance in which I need both MP and HP. <clears throat> he might not be able to kill Phoebe either, because if he can only damage her with, um, with gravity moves, that means I might, like, he might be completely locked out of, um, also, I'm gonna use a limit right now. <clears throat> yeah. Theoretically, I could finish this fight with just two of these characters alive. No, 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 he can still kill her with that. In that case, I probably should not worry about, um... In that case, I probably shouldn't worry about health at all. Because, like, honestly, the only damaging move he does is, um... Is Darkja, and that instantly kills everyone anyway. Just because it's, it's that powerful. If I had a life so you can, like, quickly revive someone else... Oh, I should have healed her. Okay, here's the problem attack. Oh, oh my god. I hate instant kill attacks. You know, I could theoretically make her immune to those as well. The story was never told. We haven't done enough in the game yet to get a story. <laughs> What other thing do I have equipped to her? Hermie Shoes. Hmm... Honestly, I think that might be better. don't think he can theoretically hurt, um, or kill Phoebe now. I mean, he can certainly hurt her, but not, like, finish her off. I typically don't like episodes where, like, the whole thing is just one boss, but... Honestly, this this might be a time where it's, where it's going to be that... Let's try this out. I don't think we've used this skill yet. I did not expect Barf to get Bard skills. Oh, this is gonna raise his speed and attack too. Yeah, he's a high potion. Okay, that's that's okay. Um
This is not a half bad way to generate energy for her. She's because she does gain energy every time she does that. Okay, finally not an instant kill move. You know what? Yeah. This is a good time to do this too, because Keishi's uh, turn is coming up and he has more than uh You can do this. Turn wasted. Oh, I forgot to put you back in the middle row. I think you'd be better in the middle row here, honestly. Just so you have that um that MP regen. Use this on yourself, too, because you gain TP every time you heal, or energy every time you heal. You know, I could move her to the front row. No, 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 no. Um, MP uh, restoration is more important at this point. My thought process being, like, if I make her immune to mostly what he can do anyway, and being in the front row makes it so she's targeted more, like, wouldn't that be better for me at the end of the day? Yeah, I'm gonna have you defend. Yeah. Oh, defending gives you, uh... Gives you MP as well. That's fine. Um, I keep using Deep Wound. I really wish Deep Wound lasted longer than it did. It's fine. That's even better. Do this on my first try last time. <laughs> With Malice, who clearly is not supposed to be used in a fight like this. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a- he's dangerous now, though. That might be the time to put this on again. If Darkjaw kills me instantly anyway when he does it- Wait, oh, I used the wrong skill, I meant to use Deep Wound. Hopefully that won't come back to bite me. Alright, your turn again. Just keep attacking. A little bit helps. Yeah, this. You know, I'm kind of surprised Deep Wound doesn't do damage. It looks like it would. It's gonna hurt everyone a lot, but it won't kill. In fact, that's even better, because now I can use, um... Oh! Hold on, hold on. I, th I think this is better, like, generally. Just does more damage at the end of the day. No, no, it doesn't do more damage, but I kind of want the TP with, like, other characters right now. I can flee this battle? I don't want to. I don't think that's gonna work.
Yeah. General and trust. I need to keep him alive. I think the only thing that can screw me up at this point is like a rogue instant kill attack. Whoa, oh, all the stats are up now. Okay. Or I'm assuming that's what that means. Wait, 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 can I, um... The sp step... Do buffs count as a magical effect? We haven't used this skill in a while. Screw it, let's try it. I want to see if this works. I know this deals, like, positive buffs. No, it didn't work. Okay. And Keiji did not get to use his, um, his super move. Oh, wait, that can miss? I don't think I've seen that miss before. This is risky, but I'm gonna do it. That's not gonna kill. That never does. High potion on you. Oh, twice in a row. High potion on you. Ugh. Oh, Barf avoided it that time. Do I have a way to lower his speed or something? I have that. We haven't had you just do an all-out attack in a while. Who's that hitting? I want you to hit the person, the one person that was immune to that. Keep going. Oh, critical is good. Phoebe's immune to this. I know... I, I just want to use this to make myself feel better about it. Good. He's gonna go twice again, or he's gonna go again. She's not low on MP right now. No. Unless one of them avoids this. Nope. Oh my god, wait. Cure yourself, like, Jesus Christ. I'm immune to that. You know, now that I think about it, why are I not just using Diara? I can finish this guy off myself with just Phoebe. That does a lot more than I thought it would, oh my goodness. Okay, that was me having a brain fart there, I should have done this from the very beginning. I don't think the other three are going to get experience, but at least we beat it. That's one down, I guess. How many there? Like, six? Oh, you don't even get experience for those. Okay. You get a lot of JP that I missed out on, though. Hierophant robe. Okay, so you get unique items for these. Ah, thy spirit is strong. I shall grant thee a boon. Present this token to one who knows all truth. There shall be tested in full. Umbrasol. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming it's a key item. Here it is. Light seems to bend around it. And what was that Hierophant robe? Is it an equipment or an armor? Oh, it is. 
22% evade female only. And, uh... I'm gonna replace it with that, yeah. Okay, so... Alright, there we go. There's the first one. I guess uh, I guess for the next two episodes, we'll see if we can uh, finish the rest of these. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.